And now to Trump. You can put a win check in the Trump column and a loss check mark next to the Democratic chaired House Ways and Means Committee. It looks like Trump will keep the Ways and Means Committee from getting five years of his tax returns. They'd wanted the tax returns from the IRS. They may, they've been after them since 2019. It is a temporary stop until further notice, but without a doubt, a significant tactical win for the former president. Today, Chief Justice John Roberts, who oversees the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit, granted a temporary stay of the appeals court and lower court rulings that said the committee could get Trump's tax returns. But it's not over. Chief Justice Roberts' decision preventing the committee from getting Trump's tax returns is only temporary. He has given the House committee until November 10th to reply to Trump's claim that the committee wants Trump's taxes under false pretenses. The setting of the deadline and not simply a denial of Trump's request suggests that the full court could rule on the case. If that happens, it is unlikely this matter will be decided quickly. So what does that mean for the Ways and Means Committee? Well, it means they are short on time. And as I noted last night, and that was before today's temporary stay order issued by the Chief Justice, if Republicans take the House next week, and if this battle drags into January, and that could happen, the next chairman of the Ways and Means Committee will be a Republican. And my guess, and probably yours, the next chairman, a Republican, will drop the subpoena for five years of Trump's tax returns. Professor Emeritus at Harvard Law School and author of The Price of Principle, Alan Dershowitz, joins me. Good evening, Professor. And what do you think about the temporary decision by the Chief Justice today? First, let's be very clear. Of course, the attempt to get Trump's tax returns are phony. And they're a pretext. They want his tax returns because they want to see whether or not he, they can find any case that they can make against him to prevent him from running for president. They say they want his tax returns because they're investigating ways of changing the tax laws. Total nonsense. Of course, they are abusing their power as a committee. But, um, you know, the court might very well uphold their right to do it because courts don't generally second guess the motives of committees. But it's likely to be mooted what? by the election. As you say, but of course, a Senate committee could ask for the same tax returns. And if there was an opinion that said that a president, former president, doesn't have the right to withhold his tax returns, you could get the Democratic controlled Senate, if they're still controlling the Senate, to issue a similar uh, subpoena. So this is a work in progress. All these cases are works in progress. We don't have firm results from almost any of them. They tend but, to be. But you know what's odd? I'll, I'll tell you what's odd, though. I'll tell you what's odd, that the trial court said that the IRS had to turn the records over to the Ways and Means Committee, and that trial court judge, a federal judge, was appointed by Trump. He then appealed to the U.S. Court of Appeals for D.C. Circuit, and a unanimous decision, 3-0, Trump lost. Trump then went to the full circuit, and, and the full circuit said that Trump lost. Now he goes to the Supreme Court, and just, Chief Justice Roberts says, puts a temporary stay on it. I would have guessed all along that Trump would have won, but it's gone through three layers, a, a, a trial court judge, the three-court judge panel, and, and a full court panel on the U.S. Court of Appeals that ruled against it. But I would have thought that, that they would have stopped it right in the beginning. Courts are very reluctant to intrude on ongoing investigations. Only the Supreme Court, I think, would have the credibility to do that. And conceivably, there'd be four justices who would be willing to grant certiorari uh, and review this case. I don't know how it would come out. The implications are frightening. Tax returns are supposed to be filed uh, confidentially, uh, and courts should make sure that the government has a very compelling reason before they can uh, uh, make somebody reveal tax returns. Tax returns have a lot of confidential information, charitable contributions, uh, medical issues, a range of things that people, and when look, they find... And look, and it's, it, it's going to... If, if it went to the Ways and Means Committee, it, it would definitely leak. I mean, look at all the information that has leaked out of the January 6th committee. I mean, I, I mean, so many, so many times that secret depositions have leaked. Look at the leaking out of the Justice Department. I mean, it's absurd to think that his tax returns wouldn't leak out of the Ways and Means Committee. I mean, it would there's be a no Washington, D.C. first. There's no question it will leak. And we glorify whistleblowers. And we encourage leaking by glorifying whistleblowers. And the Supreme Court is now doing an internal investigation to see who leaked the draft opinion. Uh, overruling Roe versus Wade, but leaking is uh, a part of, unfortunately, a part of the process of governance. We all want transparency, but the transparency should come through lawful means, not through illegal leaks. 
Professor Dershowitz, thank you, sir. Thank you.